Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome back to Let's Play Kid Icarus Uprising, the final episode of the project. In this episode, guys, well, last episode we got ourselves the Great Sacred Treasure, a pretty awesome, awesome weapon. And this episode, we're going to go ahead and use it in the final battle with Hades. The war's end. So for this, I'm going to be using a club because, okay, I did this joke already. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that this is going to be using the Great Sacred Treasure and not actually a weapon. Like I said, the last episode was kind of your typical standard chapter. This one's just uh, basically a giant fight. It's pretty awesome. Let's get to it. Intensity 8? Sure. Intensity 8 sounds fun. So here we go, guys. The final chapter of the game begins right now. Great sacred treasure activate! This could be all sorts of badass. Look at this awesome weapon I have. Oh, it is all sorts of kick-ass. So, before we actually go to the fight, though, we do have a little bit of a air section, kind of. So, uh, it is going to pretty much be an entire, entirely an air battle, but it's different. You'll see. Also, Reedy's here to hang out as well. Yay, popcorn! Oh, Reedy, you're just so amused. Hello! So, Hades. Like I said, they do this. <laughs> Here we go! The ultimate battle with Hades has begun. This could be all sorts of crazy, so... Just dodge all his uh, attacks and everything and just... Deal as much damage as you can for this first phase of many. Believe me, there are going to be many, many phases. So just keep dodging. Yeah, it's your typical air battle section, so you know how it works. Just keep dodging. Yeah, I am adorable. I think not, Hades. Oops, a little awkward for you. So just keep dealing damage, and eventually... Uh, apparently, so far, things are going pretty well. They were able to dodge and survive, and... What are you showing? No! Tornadoes are bad. No, let's not. Ow! Get away from the. I don't know how you actually dodge this, except for. I don't know if you just do damage or something, or just. I don't know if you, you can actually get away from not taking damage there. Oh, nope. Chasing me is bad. He's a pretty fast runner, Mr. God. Also, the charge attacks and things you can tell are pretty badass. They have, like, giant explosions and everything. So, but you can focus on dodging and focus on charge attacks if you want, or just continue to do continuous fire. But eventually, you'll, uh, deal enough damage to end this phase. So. That's uh, kind of a, it's almost kind of a scripted air battle for for some parts, and then there's parts like this where you just have to deal enough damage. I think. I don't know. Kind of a bit interesting, but like I said, there's gonna be a battle of lots of different phases. It's an intense battle. This is one of my favorite chapters in the game because this final battle they did well. Oh, wasn't that unfortunate? And then he runs away for now. Or yeah, doesn't he run away? Yeah, he does. So, here we go. Mode 2 for the Great Sacred Treasure. There's lots of different forms of it. Pursuit mode activated. Let's go. So, that's the first phase of the fight. Now for phase 2. This part's pretty intense and hard. This is kind of the real boss battle. We get the sort of mid-air. Hades, you're not a spaceship. Stop it. It's pretty much a spaceship. Hades, stop. So, destroy these little spots as legs. They'll fire at you and... So on and so forth, they're great barriers. So just deal damage to them, destroy them if you can, and just keep going. So yeah, uh, Hades is trying to escape and go uh, get some souls so that he could uh, get stronger. A mount of corpses, really? Oh, well, isn't that just too sad, Hades? I really need to get some health here. I'm kind of low on health. You will get some health at some point. We'll just keep dodging these attacks. Eventually, move up closer to here, and then face guns? Face guns. Face guns. So you see this thing that you need to shoot, just keep shooting it. It's basically, you know, if, if there's a target, shoot it. It'll usually point out to where his lead points are, so deal with that. Do some decent damage. Oh boy, he's angry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, bullets. Oh boy, oh boy. It's obviously a scripted scene, but... Man, he's so strong, he even destroyed the, the, 
strong, the great second treasure. Well, luckily we have another form. Mecha Arma form, go! Oh, isn't that just too bad? Okay, so he gets some health back at least. And then you need to just destroy, you know, he has, he's pretty much, he has like weapons everywhere in his body. Well, isn't that nice? Ha! Ah, you're funny, Hades. You're funny. But I forgot to laugh. Anyway, destroy all the things here. And then uh, eventually we'll get to a point where we can do more damage to him, but I don't think we can right now. Okay, here we go. Hit his hand while dodging the bullets. And then you'll have to do the same with his other hand while he shoots eye lasers at you. This is just the most ridiculous fight ever, really. He's shooting eye lasers and this is just, this is just silly. Hades, you're just silly. So keep dodging and then... Okay, destroy the thing in the middle is basically the goal here while dodging these lasers because these lasers are basically dodging everything because there's all sorts of everything out to kill you here. And this is actually a pretty tough section. I prefer, you can destroy the other things, but honestly they'll respawn. So I just prefer to tr just kind of like endurance. I'm gonna try to endurance this here and see if I can kill it, which I can. Hello? Um, no, 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 no. Your drill is not the drill that will pierce the heavens. But luckily for us, we a, a, a lower half of the body for a lower half of the body, I guess. We cut off, he cut off ours, we cut off his. So we're now just, well, apparently he's able to survive with half his body only. Kind of ridiculous. Hades, you're kind of ridiculous. This is just the most ridiculous mecha battle ever. So now we're heading to the surface to fight Hades up here. Uh, hello. Yep, indeed. You're not a lizard, you can't do that? Holy crap, that's not even fair. Anyway, you'll get back to health here. Okay, so the way you want to do this is interesting. Shoot the blue ones, do not shoot the purple ones. You have to shoot the blue ones, though, or they'll hit you. If you, hit the, if you shoot the purple ones, you'll automatically take damage, though, so... Be very cautious of this one. Purple is bad. Do not shoot purple. And then I'll basically hit his legs in the in the interims. But oh, okay, that apparently I didn't hit that one fast enough. That's purple. Do not shoot. And just keep doing this, rinse and repeat until you're good to go. He'll also shoot barriers at you at some point as well. So be careful of these as well. You're going to dodge all those, and you can take out the red ones. The red ones are the ones that kind of shoot bullets, if you can even take them out. But otherwise, you know, in the meantime, like I said, just keep dealing damage to his legs or wherever the heck he's weak. I guess he's weak in the midsection there. Probably makes sense. There we go. Oh, there's those. These ones are purple. Careful. See, so he's gonna start mixing them up a little bit more now, so which makes it a bit tougher, obviously. But we'll just keep shooting at him until he dies. That's the plan. I'm kind of running low, a bit low on health here, though, so I gotta be careful. He is a dangerous foe. Ah, so much bullets. Come on. His face is almost over. Come on. We can finish him. All right. Uh, I hit a purple one, I think. Okay, we'll get rid of these two, and then. Keep doing more. Nope, don't shoot purple. Come on, there we go. Oh, I'm barely surviving these phases. It's an intense, intense battle. I love this battle, it's just so good. And it's not even over yet. Hello? Um, where'd he go? Oh no! Boom! And the great second treasure is destroyed. We've lost again, I guess. Uh, gotta recover. So now it's one of these ones again where you have to sort of uh, recover and land in the right spot to be okay. Come on. There we go. So I mean, you don't want to land in the water. Apparently you want to land on solid ground. Ow. Luckily for us, plot device falls next to us. The weapon from the Great Sacred Treasure. But uh, that looks dangerous. That looks all sorts of dangerous. Um, oh boy. So what you need to do here. Yep. So if something's trying to seek Hades, we need to guide it to him by uh, basically keep this reticle, use the touch screen to keep the reticle on Hades so it'll charge up before he destroys you. If you can charge up the, the, top, the bar on the top screen all the way before he can destroy you, you will be victorious! Did I make it? Oh no! Oh no! Medusa! What are you doing here? I thought we destroyed you! Medusa, a little pissed that she's being used all the time. 
knocks Hades' head clean off. However, Hades is just too... Hades is looking more and more demonic here. Wow, you look a little, uh... Crazy. Now. Whoa! Bit of a new look there. And Medusa, unfortunately, destroyed by Hades. But she's bought, she's bought us time here. Oh, that's useful. I definitely could use some of that. Here we go. Get your head back in the game. Here we go. The final part. Hades is all sorts of blue-haired angriness here. So what we need to do here... We can't shoot him yet. The gun's empty right now. So she palatinated while Freeze... Freeze, luckily for us, is on our team, so she's actually in the power of flight. I'm not going to survive this, though. Let's just be realistic here. It's an endurance round, and I have no health left. So, basically, the Great Sacred Treasure's gun's charging up by Palatina's energy. If we can survive long enough, then we can, uh... Basically, if we survive long enough, we win. That's the game plan here, but... Yeah, it's so hard to dodge in between all these things. It's a very tough fight. You know what? Not the end of the world, though. We'll go out and beat this on intensity 7. That's fine. Okay, Pit, I've got a plan. Because now I'm at full health. So... Here we go. Just need to survive long enough and I win. Because this is the gun that will pierce the heavens. Hades, you have desecrated all of the souls. You have done horrible things. Your evil can no longer exist in this world. In the name of light, and I'm done with these stupid speeches. I'm kind of being sound like an idiot. Oh, pick and do it for us. Here we go, almost there. Yeah, you said that too. Here we go! Kaboom! I'm a fire my laser! Any day now. And. Hades. It's hard to believe me, but you actually got me pit. The nerve finally defeated once and for all well maybe not once and for all who knows there could be a sequel but for now he's defeated that's all that matters the game is over we have won boy that was intense oh i love this chapter so much such a cool way to end the game so be on intensity seven not bad not bad seven for me because seven, lucky seven, yeah. Victory is ours! What are you doing, Pit? Victory! Oh, that's corny. V for victory! And everyone is cheering for our Listen victory. They're done fighting we each other. We saved every living thing. Everyone's happy now. Everywhere. Victory has been yours, Pit. You've done good. You've done good. Let me get a little bit of credits here as well. What's that? Humans! You might live for this adoration, but I'm not fooled by those tears at all. Oh, Veridi, drop it already. Good question. Well, of all living beings, humans are the only ones with heart. Uh-uh, not true. All living creatures have an essence that can be described as heart. I guess. Have faith and devotion. That's what I mean by heart. Only That's true. Animals don't really have gods, you know. Only humans respect the gods. Okay, A, you're not a god. And B, are you saying only believers deserve protection? No, Let him enjoy but... his moment in the sun. He saved everyone, Three, not stop. just humans. Stop. <gasps> what's the point of faith and devotion anyway? Oh, Veridi. The gods to get greedy wishes granted? That's one way of looking at it, I guess. Huh? Pitu? Hello, Pitu! Pay attention! I'm talking at you! Palatina! Haven't you seen Stop! Pitu, you Go home, you're drunk, Faridi! Well, okay, it's pretty true. Like gods, That's no also way. true. <laughs> Nobody could be as selfish as the gods. It's kind of a cool little ending cutscene. I will have my happy ending, and I will eat it too! So Pit and Dark Pit fly off into the sunset. And the game is complete. 
So thanks everyone for watching Kid Icarus Uprising. This game has been a blast. Definitely an awesome way to start the 3DS game. I should probably shut up. It's our duty to protect them. I guess I can't really talk much here because I forgot they have these things. I had other business to attend to. I'll just keep quiet and listen. How can you make puns at a time like this? Our whole journey throughout this game. The mirror of truth is just that. It reflects the truth. You've got me confused with the other guy. This Hello, Dark is no pawn. I'll take care of it, but only after I finish you. Actually, I go by Thanatos now. The extra ancient form, amazing! Amazing! Kraken? Well, that came out of nowhere. Although, when prepared correctly, octopus is actually quite delicious. I'll strip you of your wings and sever you from the heaven forever. You know you just help us, right, Medusa? The Underworld Army has already reached the Phoenix. That was very exciting. That's where my reset bombs come in. To help return Earth to its natural state. The 3D saga. Destroy the reset bomb pod to take down the entire depot. Not a problem. So cool to just go through our entire journey. With all this firepower, Arlon must be preparing for a massive attack. Why on Earth would I be attacking? I'm far too busy defending, my dear. Persistent, Hello. It's just one fight after another. Today is not my day. Yeah, but you survived anyway. I have a little knowledge on you. They're the Aura, and this castle of floating islands is just one of their faces. So, Pyra. It looks like this will take you to the Arum Hive's power generator. Commencing Operation Hive infiltration. Pyron? <laughs> I'm pulling the Arum strings now. What a douche. You've become the enemy of all mankind. No one knows what happened. Did your goddess just lose her mind? If you <laughs> want the lightning chariot, you must prove your worth. Still my favorite arc is this one. The goddess of light The pretty one's pretty good too. Everything is wrong, and it's up to me to make things right. Such a good arc. The Chaos Kid is going to destroy the two. I'm begging you, Barini. Let me fly! Now! That's when the game just gets really good. I liked her better when she was just an evil blob. He's still an evil blob underneath. He just has better hair, that's all. Ha 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 ha. Me and that heart. Adorable little heart. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, play. I'm testing this young warrior. I need to know if he has the skills and heart to operate the great sacred treasure. Yeah, we kind of destroyed it, sorry. Hades. 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 And of that. The game is complete. We've kind of gone through our entire journey. And what a journey it's been, guys. It's been a really, really fun project. I've really enjoyed it a lot. You know, at first it was kind of a little shaky because it's definitely a little different. But, uh... Oh! I'm supposed to actually do something during the credits. I'm supposed to do something during the credits. I was supposed to do something during the credits. I was supposed to, like, shoot things. But I didn't. I wasn't paying attention. I forgot you to do that. You know what? I don't really care. Oopsie daisy. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Anyway, little Easter egg that happens uh, on this screen after you wait a while. So it's about, it takes about five minutes. So I'm going to cut to when the Easter egg happens. I'll see you guys in a second. Well, I must say I am. Such a teeny little angel defeating such a big, bad god of the underworld. Why, Kitty, that must make you the most powerful Nintendo character of all time. I'm actually rather proud of you. 8-Bit Tick would have never made it this far. But don't worry, I'm not going to tear up the credits again. The game really is over. Which is why I'm here to delete your save data. One, two, three, gone! Oh no! No, I'm just messing with you, buddy. Settle down. Your saves are very safe. I mean, I don't even have a body anymore. Couldn't delete a save file if I wanted to. I'm not even sure I can be resurrected in this state. There's the real tragedy. This dashing physique, this literally godly body, is gone forever. 
Ladies everywhere are no doubt weeping as we speak. Your fault. Oh well, I'll figure something out. I have, what, 25 years until the next sequel? Anywho, you can always revisit me and other friends in the chapters you meet. You could play our battles over and over again like a favorite book or a broken record. Oh, and if the mood strikes you, throw some hearts into the fiend's cauldron. Hearts spice up the difficulty of the level and can net you some sweet rewards. And because I'm not a sore loser, I've unlocked boss battle mode for you. So, here's to Kid Icarus Uprising, my new favorite game of all time. You're a little biased. Hades out. Thanks for the message, Hades. So, uh, what he did say, he did actually unlock boss battle mode. There is a boss battle mode in this game. I'll be showing that off in the next ex extra video. There are going to be a couple extra videos. I do want to show off that and the multiplayer. And look at this. We have ourselves a bunch of new treasures. Because you do get a uh, Hades treasure hunt as well. So, once you beat the game, you get a whole new thing of treasures. That's why I had to uh, unlock... Uh, this before I could get the, pal uh, the uh, it's called the Palutena Bow in Chapter 24, which is why I'm actually going to go back before this episode's over and do that. All the Zodiac Chambers unlocks a power called Fortune's Jukebox. This one just simply lets you change the music in a level. That's all it does, literally. Uh, Ninja Palm, pretty cool. Anything else worthwhile, really? Um, not really. Just a bunch of other weapons and stuff. 10,000 hearts, not too bad. So, yeah, just get a bunch of different things and unlock super speed. That's pretty cool, I guess. So, with that, though, we actually do have a... Uh... Oh, is there, like, a... Without using the three Sega treasures. Interesting. But the only thing that's really worthwhile to unlock is the uh, Palutena Bow, which is something I'm going to go ahead and do right now. But as you can see, boss battle mode is here. I will be doing that in an extra video. I will be doing the multiplayer as well. But for now, I'm just going to quickly go unlock the Palutena Bow in Chapter 24. I'm just going to th throw it on Intensity 2 with something that has good running speed and just blaze through it. And then after that, we will uh, get the bow and we'll be done with the game. We've, we'll have unlocked every weapon uh, that we need to get from the these, these things. Everything important that you need to get from the uh, treasure hunts we've un we would have unlocked. Everything else is just weapons and hearts and stuff like that. And then I'll do that. I'll show off some multiplayer. Um, show off the boss battle mode, and we'll wrap up the series. So, I will see you guys in a bit for Palutena Bow. So I just wanted to show this off. Uh, turns out if you do kill this guy, you do get a treasure chest. So, probably you shouldn't kill him the first time, but you kill him and a treasure does actually appear. So, just wanted to demonstrate that while I quickly try to run through this. Alright, that's the last of them. There was a drink of the gods here. Right there. Do you remember the name God of this chapter? Damn it. Wasn't it the one totally could have beat that intensity something? seven and like totally could have. Totally could have. Alright, so I should have unlocked the Palatina bow, if I am correct. Which apparently I am not, because I didn't do it fast enough. Gosh darn it. Alright, I think I managed to shave off a minute or two, so give it to me. There we go! Oh, it's 11 minutes, jeez. There we go, though! We have unlocked the final weapon of the game, the Palutena Bow. That was a pain in the butt to get. I had to do that level twice again! But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the main story. Then we got all the powers, we got all the weapons. So, at this point, like I said, next episode we'll do some boss rush, and then we'll do some multiplayer and... Check out some extras, so on and so forth. Project will be wrapping up pretty soon. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project so far. A little bit more to come. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.